hi guys you welcome back to our channel Eabo Ojo has uh, shared and speak on how she battled depression over a failed marriage and in a lengthy video she shared on her Instagram page she break down in tears as she says her mom had a failed marriage and she also have a failed marriage so in the process she warned a daughter of a marriage and she's so in fear of a daughter's marriage in her home the popular Nollywood actress Iabojo has therefore opened up on how she battled depression after a marriage crashed. Iabojo had a LinkedIn live section on Instagram yesterday and she has opened up on motherhood. She talked about depression and also some other topics and how she battled depression due to her failed marriage. She said uh, anytime she was alone in a room, she would say to herself, Iabojo, you failed. You are ugly. How can you have a child and you'll be this skinny? Before you had a child, you were thick. Now, you need to lighten up your skin. And even if you have a tattoo, you are still ugly because no one is going to marry you. No one is going to accept you. Your mom had a failed marriage and you also have a failed marriage. She added that in between her sudden low moments, she might receive a call and she will try to sound to be happy over the phone. Um, but as soon as she dropped the calls, she will fall back into a overthinking about her situation. She said she didn't want love from nobody and even people who wanted to show her love, she will push them away because of what she has faced. She also said her strength during those stages were her kids. As she said, she was always happy seeing them around her and she vowed to give them the world. And as we say that Yabodo truly is giving them the world because they are also progressing in life. Before we proceed, let's take a minute to listen to Yabo Ojo as she made a confession about her failed marriage. I remember the first time I had I had my tattoo on. I had the tattoo on because I felt it will enhance my beauty. Mm -hmm. Now you you tell me sometimes, oh yeah, but you always admire yourself, like seriously, because I have overgrown that now. So now I look at myself every time, and I'm like, how come I never saw this beauty in me? But it wasn't that for me initially. Mm. What made me started lightening of my skin? Remember, I had this, I had it when I had Priscilla, this permanent um, Ma. A4, E4, that thing. Mm -hmm. And I used to feel dirty because like people was, and I'm a very neat person, but when people say, ah, kilo she ni mua, oni fo ni mua, you know, so the thing used to make me feel so dirty. And in the place of trying to want to get that off, I started, you know, lightening up my skin. Yeah. And I noticed that when I was using lightning cream, the whole thing disappeared. And that's what Kobabi lightning cream okay fine good although i'm still pretty though with it anyways now those days then when i had that mm. was the first person to always say you know this is my shady by gun no she could have busted out a shark so even when i have somebody at the door i have to quickly look at my brother i don't know what i'll just use it to patch and block our daddy and Baba is here. Maybe, daddy, please make a comment if you want us to add you to the. You say, what are we going to call it? Program. Baba, please. Eh? You know, so to... like 
you know, me, you know, I'm, saying, I'm saying a lot of things that I actually wanted to say in my YouTube. I'm trying to talk about it in my YouTube. Yeah. I'll talk about it more in my YouTube. You know, I'm not playing victim or don't get me wrong. No, I'm just talking out of experience. And I, because I can, I can You can understand. understand your experience to teach people, to motivate yes. people. That's this why I said, some who are going through physical abuse, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know how they, I don't think I can find myself in such a situation. Because your story might be different from my story. My story might be different yeah. from somebody else's story. You know, it's, 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 that's life. And you talking about it now, you're not talking about it because you want to play the victim. You know, most people will still say, oh, what's she talking about? And most people will yeah. see you and hear your story and say, okay, I'm going through this. Maybe I need to make a change. Maybe I need to think about myself. Maybe I need to come first. But before you can make a decision, even if you have one million... Daddy, I live up, I love you. I love you, Uncle I love you, I love you. Ask him. No, he's not coming in. Maybe, he can, maybe he can have to eat, you know, from, from a man. Yeah, okay, um, Uncle, let me know if you want to come in so I can add you to this. Um, yeah, Peter, I am at his own life. time. I want to have... To oh, Vicky! I can come. <laughs> but before I come... Yeah. Okay, like I always say, please, people, women, men, think about yourself. Because when you die, you die. That's the end of life. All this, I am doing it for my children. I'm doing it for so, 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 and so children. Yes. They are alive. And that is the fact. You need yes. to start thinking about yourself. I keep saying to my children, I love you. But if I am not happy doing it, I am not going to do it. You know, like, for me... For me, it was it, it was a decision. I had to make that decision. I had to make that decision to stay happy. And when I walked out of the marriage, I wasn't happy. I was well, actually had support. Sweetheart, let me let me. Yeah. You had support. I was Most people don't have that support. You were yeah. depressed, I, but you had people you could talk to. You had people. But I hurt. I hurt people. I know. See, I need you to pick yeah, up on this. A lot of women don't have that support. A lot of people don't have that support. You had that support. You had people like me. You had people, other people outside of your marriage that you could speak to. Though they were not so going say, to help you a lot, of people have, a, lot of, a lot of people have people. But let me tell you something about having people. There's one thing for you to have people. And there's another thing for you to deal with depression. I can have so many people around me that will tell me, oh, yeah, but this, oh, yeah, but that. But you know, let me tell you something. When I'm alone, I'm not happy. Are you understanding me? I'm not. I don't want to talk to anybody. Then I wasn't ready to talk to anybody. The only two people, the only two things, don't let me even use people. The only two things that gave me joy, apart from my children, was clubbing and drinking sometimes. For me then, I could remember very well, one of my colleagues, I don't want to mention her, names, her name now, we're very best friends then. She, she didn't understand why I loved going to club. <laughs> I used to go to club with my own money, spend my own money. But each time I'm in the club and I'm hearing those songs and we're dancing and doing, that moment, I'm not thinking of anything. Mm -hmm. When I'm with the kids and we're talking and we're playing and, you know, we're doing, I'm taking care of them. That moment, I'm not thinking of anything. But the moment I'm alone in my room, I'm saying to myself, Yabu, you worthless. You, you failed. You are mm. ugly. How mm. could you have a child and look so skinny and so ugly? Before you had kids, you were, you were thick. You were pretty. Mm. Now you have to lighten up your skin to get off all these things and look at now. You have to deal with that. Mm. And even you had a tattoo on, you still look ugly because there's no one's going, no one's going to marry you. No one's going to accept you. You have two kids at your age, failed marriage, 
Your mom had a failed marriage and you're having a failed marriage. It's an ancestral cause. You just took up your maternal, your, you are, you are dead, you are gone. Those are the things that rings in my head. Mm -hmm. And then you can call me that moment and I pick ah because I'm not happy. I say, ah, can you come? We talk, we chat, we talk. Will you put that down again? And I, it happens again. Depression is real. It is real. And if you're not strong, it will take you from this and throw you down. And that's why for a very long time in my life, I was not outgoing. Like I go out, but I wasn't. A lot of people saw me as mean, as rude, as saucy, because I was, I didn't want to allow people into my life. You became very defensive. And so it was so easy for me to play gangster role, trust me. Mm -hmm. It was so easy for me to play the bitch girl, the bad girl, the rude girl, the crazy girl. Because that was what I was feeling at that time. That was how I could deal with myself at that time. And I didn't want nobody to love me. I didn't want nobody to get close to me. Even those who tried to love me, I pushed them away. I only could identify and recognize with people who didn't want me. And I didn't care. And you know that story, Tosin, because for a very long time, that was who I was. The only good thing about me then was that my children were my strength. My children were my everything. I just wanted to see those kids happy. I wanted to see them have the world. And I was ready to give everything and everything to them. Hmm. Yeah. But I went through those stages when I left my marriage. So what I'm saying is that living your marriage, like I say, go, leave, walk out. It doesn't mean when you leave, everything is going to be rosy. It doesn't mean when you leave, you're going to get out of that depression or that's whatever it is you're going to. That's, that's when it's it starts. Struggle. It will go with you as you move. Mm -hmm. But when I'm depressed, when I'm going through my pain, I even thought I found love at a particular point in time and I started to do again for that person like I did for my husband, my ex-husband. I was doing for him, hoping and thinking that as I'm doing, he will be different. But unfortunately... He was also a narcissist and I was doing, and I wasn't getting, I was trying, and then that even became war. I almost lost my sanity because I could not understand how can I give you so much love and then you cannot love me back in return. How can that be? Now that was another story. And I felt so much rage. That's it, that's it, babe. That's but it. I didn't care. That's it. That's it. I don't want to change this conversation, but I don't want you upset. It's going. You to get what I'm saying? Take away. Oh, sorry. I'm getting to emotion. Yeah. Oh, please. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello, Tosi. Can you hear me? I can't yeah, hear you, can you hear anymore. Me. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So it, it was. I didn't. I didn't care about my happiness. I was Wait, angry you need to that calm I down. You need to calm down. You're going to I was angry that a lot of people looked down on me and I gave love. Yeah, boy. Even though I did not receive it back. And forget, don't forget that the reason why I'm having my YouTube program that is coming up very soon that you don't seem encourage me to do was because I come from babe, I'm this child that babe, was just born. Babe, babe, babe. Into a world it's whereby it's enough. It's enough. Those are you listening? I'm listening. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm this Can child that was born into a world whereby. No, you're getting upset. You will get a lot of people upset. I really could not understand my up my 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 growing up. Right? Can you hear me? Can I hear? You? I can't hear you, Tosi. Can you hear me? I'm still here. Can you hear me? Uh. I can't hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mumbwe, lie very loud. Okay. It's what you I'm now. Saying, I can't hear you, honestly. Maybe I can you hear me off. now? I think can I'm you even hear me? Push it on right now. So, anyway, guys, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but let me just stop stop right there. Calm down. Much, what I'm just saying is that yeah. if you're going through emotional problems, 
if you're going through any um oh i need to calm down okay mm. people don't understand i'm trying to tell yabo to come off the conversation because i know who she is you know you people say you, you know I need to let, let me tell you speak. let me tell you something people Babe. I know Let me tell you the most rest. difficult thing Are you there? that would happen to you. Nobody can understand your story. That's the most difficult thing. Everybody will judge you. I remember when I did that video, that little story I told about why my, how my marriage failed. That little story. That's, let me tell you, that's just, that's just a tip. Please. Subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends to subscribe to this channel.